Good evening, my lovely people. Let me start by appreciating you people for supporting this channel. And more so, those who are giving out different topics each and every day for us to discuss. And I'll start by requesting each one of you, if you are there, you have given out your topic and yet it has not been discussed. Just be patient with me and in due time your topic will be discussed and you will get what you wanted. It's not always easy to make these videos. It needs a lot of time and a lot of input. So, if you are there, just be patient and soon your topic will be discussed. Let me also thank the returning subscribers because your support is pushing me forward and then if you are new here, continue sharing, liking and commenting on our videos so that they may go all over the world. For the better part of uh, the past two weeks we have been discussing about different types of biopsy. Yesterday we concluded a subtopic about bone lesion biopsy and today we will start another subtopic about lung needle biopsy. Lung needle biopsy. What is a lung needle biopsy? And it, as the topic states, this is something that will affect the lung. Or it's a biopsy. Or it's a procedure whereby you access the lung and take a sample. So lung needle biopsy is a procedure to obtain a small sample of lung tissues. How simple is that? Lung needle biopsy is a procedure to obtain a small sample of lung tissues. The tissue is then examined with a microscope. It's a procedure to obtain a small sample of lung tissues, and the tissue is then examined, examined or examined with a microscope. This technique is used to diagnose an irregular area of tissue in your lungs. This technique is used to diagnose an irregular area of tissue in your lungs. A needle biopsy is also called percutaneous needle aspiration. A, a lung needle biopsy is a procedure to obtain a small sample of lung tissues and the tissue is then examined or examined with a microscope. This technique is used to, di to diagnose an irregular area of tissue in your lungs. A needle biopsy is also called percutaneous needle aspiration. A question we can ask ourselves, why is a lung needle biopsy needed? Why is a lung needle biopsy needed or oh, why is it done? Your doctor may perform a lung needle biopsy to investigate an abnormality found during a chest X-ray, a CT scan, or another imaging test. Why is a lung needle biopsy needed? Your doctor may perform a lung needle biopsy to investigate an abnormality found during a chest X-ray, a CT scan, or another imaging test. Your doctor may perform a lung needle biopsy to investigate an abnormality found during a chest X-ray, a CT scan, or another imaging test. So before you do a lung needle biopsy, maybe you have done a chest X-ray or a chest CT scan, and there is something you have seen or you have found on the X-ray or the scan. This will lead you or will push you to order for a lung needle biopsy for more investigation to diagnose what might be causing this condition of the lung. 
So, lung needle biopsy can also be used by doctors to do the following or to determine other conditions as follows. Your doctor can also use this procedure to one, determine whether a lung mass is benign that is non-cancerous or malignant which means it's cancerous. As we said before, when we started this topic, biopsy majorly is used to diagnose cancerous cells or to differentiate a cancerous and non-cancerous cells. So your doctor can also use this procedure to A or number one, determine whether a lung mass or a mass seen in a lung is benign, which means non-cancerous or malignant which means it's cancerous number two or b your doctor can also use for this procedure to uh, stage to determine the stage of a malignant tumor a lung needle biopsy can be used to determine the stage of a of, of a malignant tumor this procedure can also be used to monitor progress, progression of lung disease. Can it be used to monitor progression of lung disease. Number four, this procedure can be used to identify the cause of inflammation in your lung. Can be used to identify the cause of inflammation in your lung. Number five, it can be used to explain why fluid is collected in your lung. It can be used to explain why fluid is collected in your lung. And it can also be used to diagnose a lung infection. Let me repeat this one. Lung needle biopsy can be used to determine the following. Or your doctor can use this procedure to number one or a determine whether a lung mass is benign which is non-cancerous or malignant which means it's cancerous this procedure can also be used to determine the stage of a malignant tumor can be used to determine the stage of a malignant tumor it can be also be used to monitor progression of lung disease. Can be used to monitor the progression of a lung disease. This procedure can also be used to identify the cause of inflammation in your lung. It can be used to identify the cause of inflammation or swelling in your lung. This procedure can also be used to explain why fluid is collected in your lung. Can be used to explain why fluid is collected in your lung. And lastly, it can be used to diagnose lung infection. Can be used to diagnose lung infection. A point to note, and this is very important. A lung needle biopsy may be performed on its own or with other tests such as a lung needle biopsy may be performed on its own or with other tests such as number one bronchoscopy bronchoscopy this is an instrument with, with a camera on its own an instru in bronchoscopy, an instrument with a camera on its end is inserted into your throat through your mouth and then into the airways in your lungs. In bronchoscopy, which is a procedure that can be performed together with the lung needle biopsy, in bronchoscopy, an instrument with a camera on its end is inserted into your throat through your mouth and then into the airways 
in your lungs. This allows your doctor to view various parts of your lungs. Remember in bronchoscopy, the instrument inserted through your mouth into your throat and into your airways, it has a, a camera at the end. So the camera helps the, the doctor to visualize or to view various parts of your lungs and be able to come up with a diagnosis or to determine how your lung is. Number two, or another procedure that can be done together with uh, lung needle biopsy is what we call media stenoscopy. Media stenoscopy. Here, an instrument with a light is inserted through an incision in your chest. Remember, in bronchoscopy, this instrument is passed through the mouth. But in mediastinoscopy, an instrument with a light is inserted through an incision in your chest. There must be an incision in, in, in your chest. Your doctor uses the mediastinoscope. The doctor uses the mediastinoscope to view the area between your lungs and collect lymph node tissue for testing. The mediastinum. This is the part between your lungs. So your doctor uses the mediastinoscope to view the area between your lungs and collect lymph node tissue for testing. This marks the end of our video today and thank you for being with me. Thank you for where you have taken this channel and I hope as time goes through your support this channel will grow to greater heights. Have a lovely day ahead.